Only the shot town is bears on the flight. Let me go tune in to keep on the mic. He gon' make sure we get our news and highlights. When you get on YouTube, you better hit the lights. The Chicago Bears coaches are officially done with this key player on the roster. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Bears fans, make sure you also do me a huge favor by also hitting the like button on today's episode of Keek on the Mic. So, Bears fans, before we go any further with today's episode of Keek on the Mic, I want to let you guys know that today's episode is brought to you by BetUS. Once again, as you guys all know, I'm going to be partnering with BetUS all season long, and I'll be betting on the Chicago Bears all season long through BetUS. You guys can actually head over to BetUS.com right now and use promo code YouTube150 for a 150% deposit bonus up to $2,000. As we all know, the Chicago Bears have a huge game against the Houston Texans on Sunday Night Football this weekend, where they are currently seven-point underdogs, but as a realistic and optimistic Bears fan, I can definitely see Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears offense having a bounce back performance against the Houston Texans and going in there and getting an upset win. So if you guys are realistic and optimistic Bears fan like myself, once again, go to betus.com, use promo code YouTube 150 and place your bet on the Chicago Bears, not only this weekend against the Houston Texans, but all season long. So Bears fans, I really didn't want to make this video um, but it's time to just tell the honest truth. And, and obviously, Chicago Bears coaches are absolutely pissed with this key player on the roster. And his future with the organization is truly in doubt. And one thing you can truly say about the National Football League is that you only get so many opportunities in this league. Um, and I feel like the Chicago Bears have had so much patience with this player on the roster. Uh, and, and once again, this player has done all the right things. He has said all the right things, um, but it's just not translating onto the football field on Sundays. And that is wide receiver slash kick returner, Bayless Jones Jr. And we can all say this. Ever since being drafted in the third round a couple of years ago by the Chicago Bears, Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears coaching staff has done everything in their power to really help Bayless Jones Jr. succeed here in Chicago. They have given, given him a chance as a returner. They have made special packages for him as a wide receiver, and they even had him transition to the running back position as well, trying to do everything in their power to make sure things work out here in Chicago. And one thing you could say about Bayless Jones Jr. is that he has this special gift um, in terms of speed and athleticism, things that you really can't teach, right? But that can only go so far, right? It's just his natural ability on the football field is special, but he keeps making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Obviously, he's had some major fumbling issues as a kick returner. Um, hasn't really been a productive receiver. Um, obviously, he's just transitioned to the running back position, so I think that's his last um, leap of faith to really keep his hopes alive here in Chicago. But it finally seems after the recent blunder, that recent uh, fumbled kickoff that he had against the Tennessee Titans that led to three Tennessee Titans points, has the Chicago Bears coaches pissed, um, especially uh, special teams coach Richard Hightower. This is what he had to say on the situation regarding Bayless Jones Jr. He said, in regards to what happened in the game, it's unacceptable. As a human, I hurt for the kid. I do. But as a coach, we have to evaluate all our options, and he knows in the return game the number one thing is to take care of the football. Once again, uh, Bears fans, Bayless Jones Jr. was benched after that blunder. Then DeAndre Carter came in and really gave um, this special teams a spark. DeAndre Carter had a huge 67-yard return um, that really that really pumped up this uh, football team and really led uh, to an eventual comeback for the Chicago Bears over the Tennessee Titans. And for me personally, I was a little bit confused when Bayless Jones Jr. actually started um, as kick returner over DeAndre Carter. I feel like DeAndre Carter does offer more as a kick returner and a punt returner over a guy like Bayless Jones Jr. He's definitely more sure-handed. You're not going to see um, basically any fumbles when it comes to DeAndre Carter. Um, he definitely, it's all about ball protection. That's something that Bayless Jones Jr. has not been good at in the past. So that was one of the big things for me is that that was a good, perfect example of the Chicago Bears continuing to give Bayless Jones Jr. these opportunities. And once again, uh, 
he failed, right? It's one of those things that, you know, he's he's a good kid. He's doing everything right. He's working hard. He had a really good uh, preseason and offseason for the Chicago Bears as well, which made Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus keep him on this roster. But once again, you only get so many chances, chances in this league. And when he fumbled that kickoff against the Tennessee Titans, my heart really dropped because as a person, as a human, I felt for Bayless Jones Jr. But as a fan of the team, I'm like, you know, they, they, this is it. You can no longer have him back there. He is a true liability. And obviously, DeAndre Carter gives us a better chance to win um, when you put him on special teams, when you put him as a kick returner. And he proved it against the Tennessee Titans with a huge 67-yard return. But this is uh, this goes deeper than Bayless Zones Jr. Um, as a kick returner. Once again, he has nobody to blame but himself, right? I know that's harsh to say. I know he's a human. I know he's worked his ass off, um, but he has struggled to take care of the football, um, especially as a returner. Uh, he's definitely cost a couple of games in the past as a punt and kick returner, but even as a utility guy, talking about as a wide receiver, right, or, or, or as a running back as well. Across 27 games, Bears fans, he has only 300 yards from scrimmage and two touchdowns, and once again, Due to his natural gift and speed ability, he's definitely shown some promise. I'm in the return game, um, but he just hasn't been able to overcome the four fumbles that he has in the return game. And of course, the two drop passes as well during his career. So Richard Hightower is definitely correct. And the Chicago Bears coaching staff and Ryan Poles has the right to be frustrated with Bayless Jones Jr. Because protecting the football is more important than anything. And if Bayless Jones Jr., can try to learn the value of that, maybe he can offer some significant value as a returner. Because once again, you cannot teach the type of speed that Bayless Jones Jr. has. He runs a 4.340. Um, so super fast. He has super athletic ability as well. But the dude just cannot catch the football to save his life. So nobody can deny that Bayless Jones Jr. Um, has loads of talent. Uh, but sadly, it takes more than that to survive in this league. And, it, and it's just the heart's business of it. So the Chicago Bears organization has the right to feel frustrated with Bayless Jones Jr. because they have given, given him every opportunity here in the city of Chicago to succeed with the organization, um, but nothing has worked for Bayless Jones Jr. And to me, his last faith of hope is hopefully being a really good running back for the Chicago Bears because I don't think Richard Hightower, Ryan Poles, or Matt Eberflus are no longer going to trust Bayless Jones Jr. as a kick or punt returner. Um, so I think just due to the fact that he he's going to be cheap, he it's not like they're paying him a lot of money to be here in Chicago, and the fact that he still has a really good athletic ability and really good speed, I think he's going to remain on this roster and just get limited reps as a running back. Or if, of course, DeAndre Carter goes down with an injury, knock on wood, then he would replace DeAndre Carter as a kick or punt returner. Um, but I think... He will remain on this roster, but uh, time is wearing thin for Bayless Jones Jr. Um, I I'm definitely still rooting for him. He's still a member of the Chicago Bears, and as a Bears fan, I'll root for anyone that is on this roster. Um, but things need to change quickly for Bayless Jones Jr. because even as a running back, you, you start thinking like, hey, can you take care of the football? If we give you the football, will you fumble or will you be able to take care of the football? So right now, Bayless Jones Jr., in terms of the coaching staff's eyes, is looked at as a liability. So. Moving forward, his time is definitely wearing thin um, here for the Chicago Bears organization. I'm not sure what they're going to do with him um, as soon as next year, but it seems like his time with the Chicago Bears is coming to an end, and it's truly unfortunate because as a third-round pick a couple of years ago, um, there was definitely a lot of high hopes, but it's starting to look like it's going to be a failed experiment for Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears when you're looking at Bayless Jones Jr. But Bears fans, before I let you guys go, let me ask you guys this. Do you think the Chicago Bears should just cut ties with Bayless Jones Jr. now? Or, you, or do you think they should continue giving him more opportunities to succeed on this football team? Let me know down below what you're thinking in the comment section. But as always, make sure, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. And once again, Bears fans, make sure you head over to BetUS.com and use promo code YouTube150 for 150% deposit up to $2,000 and bet on the Chicago Bears all season long using BetUS. But other than that, be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys. And as always, 
Bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.